Quest Machine isn't limited to just a single player completing quests. You can have multiple players, each with their own quest journal, and you can even have NPC AI completing quests on their own. This video demonstrates that. This is the scene that we're going to be looking at. Two NPCs will pick up random quests from a quest giver and complete them on their own. Notice that there are two quest HUDs also. In Quest Machines Canvas, I set up a second HUD called Quest HUD 2. If we look at the first NPC, we can see that it has a unique ID, Knight 1. This NPC is configured to use the default HUD. Knight 2 has a different unique ID, called Knight 2, and it's set up to use the second HUD. Both NPCs have a fairly simple AI script that just sets its NavMesh agent's destination based on the current quest. It does this by randomly choosing a game object with an action trigger, which is another custom script here that can be tied to a specific quest. The quest giver itself has its own action trigger that simply doles out a random quest whenever an NPC enters its trigger. It chooses from the list of these two quests. Let's look at one of the quests. The key to multiple quest journals is that counters listen for messages sent specifically from the quester. That way it doesn't mistakenly intercept messages sent from other questers. If we look at the gold action trigger, we can see that it sends the message, got gold. And if we look at the action trigger script, we can see that it sends the message from the NPC that actually used the trigger. In the counter's message section, the drop-down value of quester refers to the quester assigned to the quest. We can play one more time to show how that works. As you can see, there's not much difference between setting up quests for a single player, or multiple players, or even AI-driven questers.